Hello everyone, this is Teacher Jolki and I welcome you to our discussion today. Our topic is interpreting the slope and y-intercept. Here are our objectives. After going through this lesson, you are expected to number one, determine the relationship between variables based on slope. Number two, interpret the computed slope and y-intercept of the regression equation. And number three, realize the relevance of the y-intercept based on given situations. In our previous discussion, we have calculated the values of slope and y-intercept and came out with linear regression equation which is given by y hat equals bx plus a where y hat represents the predicted values of y, a is equal to the y-intercept of the regression equation, and it is also the value of y when x is equal to 0. b is the slope of the regression equation. It is the estimated rate of change in y per unit change in x. It is important to note that the sign of the slope b is used to determine the trend or direction of relationship between the dependent variable y and the independent variable x. Now let's look at the trend or direction of slope. The direction of slope, as represented by the sign, okay, allows us to determine the relationship between the variables x and y. From there, we're able to make our interpretations. When the sign of the slope is positive, there is positive relationship between variables x and y. This means that when x values increase, y values also increase. Similarly, when x values decrease, y values also decrease. When the sign of slope is negative, there is also a negative relationship between variables x and y. We also call this inverse relationship. This means that when x values decrease, y values increase. So this is the reverse. No? When x values increase, y values decrease. And also we have this zero slope means there is no relationship between x and y variables. Let us look at this illustration. We are given a regression equation and we shall identify the slope, the trend or direction of relationship and come up with our interpretation. The first equation is y hat equals 7x minus 11. What do you think is the slope in this equation? Remember that the slope is the coefficient of x. Yes, you are correct. The slope here is 7. And since 7 is positive, we can say that the trend and direction, the trend or direction of our equation is positive. Or we have a positive relationship. For our interpretation, we can say that y increases as x increases. And similarly, y decreases as x decreases. For our second equation, we have y hat equals 16 minus 5x. Okay, we have our slope, the coefficient of x, we have negative 5. And since this is negative, we can say that the trend or direction is negative. Thus, we have positive or inverse relationship. We interpret this as y decreases as x increases and y increases as x decreases. In interpreting the y-intercept, we have to remember that y-intercept is the value of y when x equal to 0. It is the point where the regression line intersects the y-axis. And y-intercept is beginning value or the starting value. To interpret the y-intercept, we should analyze if the values of the dependent variable y and the independent variable x depict a possible situation between the two variables. Unlike the slope, which is easily determined, 
Analysis of the situation is needed to determine if the y-intercept is relevant with respect to the situation. Okay, let's look at this example. A biologist wants to study the relationship between the number of trees per square meter, that's x, and the number of birds per square meter y. She came up with the equation of the regression line y hat equals 3x plus 4. Let's look at our table here. So we will identify the slope and y-intercept and come up with our interpretation. So first, let's look at the slope. The slope is 3. And as you can see, this is positive. Therefore, we will have a positive relationship between x and y. For our interpretation, for every additional 3, which is represented by x, you can expect an average of 3 additional birds, which is represented by y, per square meter. Okay, so that is for the slope. Now, for the y-intercept, you have there it's 4. Okay, it means that the average number of birds per square meter in an area with no trees, that is when x is equal to 0, okay, th there are 4 birds, okay? This value is relevant because the number of trees can be zero and it is possible to have bird in an area without trees. So this means that the y-intercept here is relevant. Okay, so you have there the word relevant. Now let's look at example two. A survey was done to know the relationship between the age in years of a young person and the time in minutes a person can run one mile. Age in years is represented by x and the time in minutes is represented by y. Data from children between the ages of 8 and 15 were collected. The regression equation is given by y hat equals negative x plus 15. Now let us look at our interpretation table. First, we will look at the slope going back to the regression equation. Okay, So the slope is given by the coefficient of x. So in this case, we have the slope as negative 1. And since the slope is negative 1, it indicates a negative relationship between x and y. In other words, we have an inverse relationship. For the interpretation, from this situation, as a young person's age increases each year, his run time y decreases by 1 minute. Okay, let's look at y-intercept. Again, let's go back to our equation here. The y-intercept is given by the constant here. Therefore, the y-intercept is 15. Going back to our notes on y-intercept, the y-intercept is the value of y when x is equal to 0. Now, considering our situation here, number one, let us look at the data from which this example was taken. Data was taken from children whose ages come from 8 up to 15. So x cannot be zero in this case. And secondly, if we look at our situation, we're talking about that minutes or time in minutes a person can run. Now, if a child has no age yet, that is uh, zero age, I don't think it will be possible for a child to run one mile. So for our interpretation, we have this is not relevant because a zero-year-old child cannot run one mile. It is also stated in the problem that the domain is between 8 and 15. The age of a person cannot be zero then. Thus, the y-intercept is a violation to the problem, but not on the regression equation. In other words, the y-intercept is not relevant in this situation, but it is relevant in the regression equation. Okay, so I hope our lesson today is relevant for you guys. Enjoy and endure. 
even in the midst of our challenging situations. Later on, you will reap the fruit of your labor. This is Teacher Joffrey saying, God bless you. This lesson video is based on the Department of Education Senior High School module for Statistics and Probability, printed by the Department of Education Region 4A, Calabarzon.